We're about 48 hours away from Husker football kicking off their season. 81 years ago, another university in Nebraska did that for a last time. 3 News Now anchor Zach Williamson dives into the fall of Creighton football and its ties to World War II. This is Mission Service, sponsored by Barry Law. Come look at this team that sort of paused in World War II, right? I mean, it's, it's sort of like a little time capsule. I couldn't wait to dig in. Pete Brink, the head of archives and special collections at Creighton Libraries, serving as my guide through 52 years of Creighton football. So this is Creighton versus Marquette. They did play Oklahoma in 1928. Don't know the outcome of that game. Let's hope Creighton won. There is one NFL Hall of Famer on there. Um, Link, Link Lyman was his name. He's the offensive line coach. How about that? Six home games for $6.60. <laughs> That's not a bad price. You're saving, <laughs> you're saving money there, too. Home games that season, along with 16 others, played at Creighton Stadium. In the middle of a real residential neighborhood, so it's neat to see those older photos and kind of imagine what it looked like then. It's hard to picture it with all the development that's happened here at Creighton University, but almost 100 years ago, we would have been standing on the field at Creighton Stadium. At the time, it was one of the largest structures in Omaha with a capacity of 15,000 fans. It's pretty amazing to picture that big of a stadium down here. The stadium that opened November 21st of 1925 would host Creighton's final game on the gridiron 17 years to the day later. The football and the game program from the 1942 Creighton versus Tulsa game, which was the last football game ever played by the Creighton Blue Jays. The move coming as war efforts ramped up. They didn't want to occupy trains and, and other things during the war effort, so they just called it after this game and and paused it. I think they, they said temporarily, but it, it, the football program never never came back. The Jays? A tackling dummy of Adolf Hitler's head on there. So this is 1939, so they were preparing. Playing a role in the war as well. Several in this uh, Tulsa program um, that they talk about, the, the players that are not playing but are in the service in, in different places and some former coaches as well. Listed right next to height and weight was their military status, whether they were underage or uh, had already served or were part of the reserves. Some making the ultimate sacrifice. A lot of these guys didn't come back either. So you would have one of your best players, your captain, leave one year and then you never see him again. That, that had to have a, a dramatic effect on, on teams and campus and coaches. I mean, that was, that, what, a, what a tough time for sure. This is a letter sweater of George Lynch. He uh, ended up in the Marines and died during World War II in 1945. Understandably, one of many Creighton players who served in World War II. Once the war concluded, bringing back the football team was easier said than done. I think it had been a steep climb to get back into football, kind of from, from ground zero. It's expensive, and then are you going to fill your stadium, and then can you compete with Oklahoma or Tulsa or anybody else, really? However, a Creighton football renaissance was still on the top of mind for some in the area. Even up into the late 40s, there was, there was really hope that it would happen as things kind of picked up and got back to normal. And I think that when it was ultimately decided that there wouldn't be a football team, there was some people that were upset. Thankfully, there's another team in the state that fans were able to get behind. But had things been different? What would have become of the uh, controversial J-Skers? <laughs> <laughs> It's a great question. Creighton football finished with an overall record of 183 and 139 with 27 ties. In the three recorded contests against Nebraska, the Jays went 0-3, but Creighton Stadium had lights installed four night games before Memorial Stadium. If there's a person or a topic you think we should cover for mission service, tell us. You can email mission.service at 3newsnow.com.